shift. My shifts are 12s and 6s. We do three hour shifts now, which seem to work really well because I'm getting some good sleep for a change. We used to do two hour shifts, and now it's much better with the threes. But I am lucky this morning because I still get the sunrise shift, and it is a beautiful show again. And the waves are super calm. There's barely enough wind. Downloaded some weather. It doesn't look like we're gonna get much more wind than 10 knots today, maybe. But I think I'm gonna set out a fishing line soon. Not sure which lore I'll pick. Might set out two today. Really would like to catch something, kind of shake up the day a little bit. Um, day three. Here we go. to get the first reef or second reef in, so that's what Darren was struggling with. <laughs> How's your nappy? It was good. Delightful. Nice little afternoon snooze. I'm making myself some din din. Got beans, rice, onions, cheese. It's gonna be good. I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, chicken, turkeys, rabbits, you name it! My shift has ended and I'm getting ready to getting ready for the good sleep of three hours. I'm gonna get all tucked in. This is my oh where'd my phone go? I won't be able to wake up without my phone. <laughs> That's, you're not allowed to plop. <laughs> and I got thrashed into this part of the wood in the back of my head, man. Oh, that hurt. Oh. I have to ask my name. What day is it? That's actually a legit question. Okay. Oh, dear diary. I hit my head because I panda rolled into bed. It is. It's what time is it? Nine? Nine. I'm off my shifts. My shifts are at sixes and twelves, so it must be nine. 
But it is now time for this concussed person to go get some sleepies. Good night. Good night. Farewell. This is day four. Finishing up day four. It's actually midnight of day four. Uh, I just finished my shift from my on the nines and threes. So this is uh, 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. And Amanda's just getting up. I heard a big yawn. Anyway, this shift, uh, probably one of my easiest shifts of this journey. I, I had to touch or adjust nothing. Um, the winds were consistent and like everything was just functioning properly. So, so I got to catch up on my reading. Um, I also got caught up on a movie. I watch Braveheart again. I seem to watch it every couple of years. And it's, ah, it gets me every time. I love it. Nice heroic type movie. I think I'm ready to go to bed. It is smelly. See? So I've been smelling like the smell, smell on the boat. And I think it's just like kind of people stench. Things have been wet and damp all the time. And yeah, like my towel smelled gross. Uh, our damp pillow. Smell. Yeah. And I just smell it like on everything. I don't know what it is. Either my smell is like more heightened or this particularly is bugging me. I don't know. So yeah. So hopefully I'll just be able to shut that off when I crawl into bed because I know the bed smells like that. But... It doesn't smell like that anymore. It smells like Tiger Bomb. That's right. So Amanda put Tiger Bomb on my neck. One because it feels good and two. It's because now that's all I can smell is Tiger Bomb. Mm. Oh, and there's a bird on our bow currently. Well, I don't know about currently. He's on the other side. You have to go look up on the port side. Is it still there? Yeah, there's something there. I saw him flying around just a few minutes ago. I tried to track him down. It looks like he found a nice comfortable spot. Kind of on the bow, because as the bow goes up and down, he has to like move and adjust himself. But, and then the weather tonight is just perfect. It's not too damp compared to past nights. The moon is like a quarter moon, but totally bright. It illuminates the whole ocean and sky. Stars are great. Not a cloud in the sky, really. And the winds are like 12 knots. So right on the beam. Very comfortable sail. And we've been doing an average between five and six knots, something like that. And we're going in the right direction is an added bonus being a sailboat. Yay! Who's waking up? Are you ready for this shift? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it because I feel like it'll jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty frustrated. I had to turn on the motor during my shift. It's not worth going that far south and light winds and a headwind now, it just didn't make sense. We weren't making any progress, we were just sitting there drifting <laughs> slowly backwards. So now we're motoring. Oh well. So tell us about this tuna. I <laughs> just took my shift and I was trying to wake up and I decide, okay, it's sunrise. I should put out a line. So I first put out our Bali Who combo guy who had the barracuda on him. But I'm like, this is deep water. I could swear something will bite. I set it out. And I literally was still reeling it out. And then I had a tug and I was like, oh shit. And then all of a sudden it left. So I'm like, oh, okay. Well, something's out there. Something bit. So I sat there for a while and like, Okay, well, not one line, two lines. So I set another line out, and I decided to change up the lure. A new lure we haven't used yet is like this 
green yellow combo with a little hook to plug and I was just about to hook it on the transom and I had this huge tug and I'm like oh I'm not letting this one go <laughs> oh shit and I'm like this is on so I just keep putting pressure putting pressure as I reel it in and I'm yelling Darren say Darren Darren push on push on and I am sound asleep I swear in my dream someone was saying fish and I'm like huh and then I took her again screaming at it. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, fish on, sweet. That was very, very awesome and wow. exciting. And then I was like, it looked kind of small at first. So I was like, I wonder what it could be. And then I was, when I was pulling it, I'm like, holy shit, it's a tuna. Our very first tuna. Yeah. Look at that steak. Two big steaks and wow. another one over there, too. Steak, too. Like, dang. Delicious. I was super excited. <laughs> wow. Right, we're finally gonna get some tuna with rice and tuna with all kinds of stuff. Right. I'm so stoked about this. There's probably like four pounds of tuna, maybe two pounds each filet. So that should feed us for a few days. Be awesome. What's the apparent wind speed? Okay, are you ready? Tension. Symmetrical spinnaker on this slightly downwind, light wind sail. And there are these massive rollers. The camera does not do it justice though. It's like huge rolling hills <laughs> of waves. It's super cool. And then we ride down it and really accelerates the boat. So I'm happy about that, because other than that, we'd be going maybe like five knots. So. We're trying to find a smell on the boat. It's been bugging us for like the last couple days. Amanda says it smells like raw chicken. I say it smells like old seawater. No, that's, I also smell the old seawater smell. It smells like a towel that has been rotting with seawater or water. There's that smell. There's the raw chicken smell that's just like wafting. <laughs> so we're running around just smelling things on the boat <laughs> to see if we can find what it is. How about that? The blanket smell? Or like the bedding. Okay. <sighs> Don't know what it is, but. Driving crazy. All right. Speaking of driving, boat's all yours. Not my skin. No. Yeah, smell. No, skin All right, smell my pit like now. This evil. is. Oh. 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 That's, <laughs> a, that's a, 
straw. But it's not it though. No. See? I know okay. what I'm smelling. It smells like your, uh, <laughs> your towel. You're a towel. <laughs> no. Dear diary, the smell is now driving me crazy. And once I get on you say it's driving me nuts. <laughs> Pirate jokes. It's starting to drive me a little crazy. I'm usually good at finding finding the smell. This is really bothering me. It's like when you spill milk and you don't realize it and you have to go find it when it starts to rot later on. Yeah. The struggle. I think you get a little crazy after a while too. And this is how we're gonna pass our time. I smell it again. Maybe it's out here. I bet it's out here. I'm gonna start sniffing things outside. Maybe it's lines. It's not like Maybe cocaine. Fish on the oh, no, because that's a fishy smell. This is like. Yeah, really I mean, I'll still check. Anyway, I think I'm gonna set a line out again this morning. And we'll see if we catch something. So first of all, I think I found the smell. I think it was the sink. Poured some vinegar down it. I think we can smell it sometimes out here because the sink actually goes to this hole that connects to the ocean. Like a little pipe goes down through. Sometimes you can smell whatever was going through the sink in that same hole. So I think it was that. Poured some vinegar down it. Should be better now. Secondly, I was going through my morning routine at this point, and I was checking the sails, trimming the sail, checking our course, and setting out two lines, because what's better than one line? Two lines for fish. And I was thinking, I'm not sure how I feel about making landfall with this whole coronavirus. Not sure what we're going to be kind of sailing into, whether they're going to accept us or if they do, like, it's going to be kind of like not exciting. We came from an area where we were quarantined or social distancing and that wasn't fun, the constant reminders. We would also be on our phone checking what ports are open and people, you know, constantly talking about it on Facebook. So we were constantly bombarded with it and I'm not looking forward to that. It's been a nice uh, break from it all. Um, although I know reality is still out there and still happening and we're gonna have to deal with it, but it's been nice to get away from it and not feel the panic or anxiety that everyone else is feeling right now. So, I'm not sure what we are in for, but this has been an amazing sail so far. So I'm gonna keep enjoying it. I'll lay in bed. Yeah. Gonna take my clothes off. Just kidding, I'm just gonna take this off real quick. Night mode! Rocketing. Yes. I love it when you use the word rocketing. <laughs> huh? 
How can you tell? I don't know. She's asking the wrong person. Hey, are you done? Excuse you.